Hey there viewers, welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Working on a 2014 Subaru. It's got a big 2.5. If you guys watched part one, we removed the old rotted out subframe. Now we've got a new subframe right from Subaru. We need to transfer all the old rusty crap from this one and put it on that one and then stick the thing back in. So let's get after it. See if we can't get this baby off. These are the ones I'm worried about, the long ones. Not worried anymore. So we'll set that to the side. Try to take off this right hand mount. There's two more on the back side here. Trust me. You get some uh, panther feet here. We'll give her the no mercy reversey. So in good shape. Now she's balanced. She's balanced. All right, let's work on the rack. Just to go help the lovely Mrs. O. Oh, wrong way, dude. One more, fella. That's it, baby. That should be the whole rack. That's true, that one's stuck. Let's see, right? That should be the rack. These are all the same size there, yes, sir. So make sure this thing's not gonna fall. We have maintained balance. Playing the jerk. Just want my bolt back. Okie dokie, now we need to do the dreaded sway bar bushings. I think those are 12 mil. They look like 14, but 14 spinning, boy, they are rusty. I'd change that fitting, wouldn't you? Well, I think you can. It's only been leaking for a few years. 
12, maybe. It's gonna be. Not today, it says. Not today. How about this side? Give her the old RBRT treatment. Coming out or snap them up? Coming out. Got a little bit looser there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Take all these bolts out. Now it's a balancing act because that is what it was propped up on. Take that out, and that's why we took those nuts off. Um, even though we decided to leave it on the train again. We'll set that baby down. This thing's. D-U-N done. We were hanging like that. We need to get our bolts out of the control arms. We're not reusing the control arms, but we need the hardware anyways. So let's give those some other dogs and get some sockets. I don't know if the old 3 8 gun's gonna have enough lead in its pencil to do this, but. Who am I kidding? Astro Tools, baby. I don't play. Crap. I don't know, 12 point's quite not a good idea, dude. Yeah, let's get a six point. 17 mm, do we have one? Do we have one? Yes, sir. Come on. There's that bolt and nut. Looks like a 19 mm. The bushings are tore right out of this sucker, so. So, so that's, uh, that's a terrible way to end the sentence, but you feel me, right? 19 there, 19 there. Let's grab our wrench that we had right here. Here's a 19 variety. That's a 17. This is a 19. Put that one in your pocket. Let's just see. Oh, that's how you're gonna be, right? The bushing, it's stuck. Mother mother. I should have bought those bolts. Knowing that, you're a Subaru guy, Eric. You work on these things. That's okay. I'll show you another method. Get the old one-two barbecue. We use the torch. A lot easier to do it here than it is in the car, I'll tell you that much. Get in there, fella. It's called the open end whittler. Hashtag learned it in the rust belt. Before we get all carried away, give her the one-two barbecue. 
Let's bring out the dog. <laughs> Big nasty. Show you how the dog does it. Typically, when these are in the car, you can't get up to the top of that bolt and hit it with an air hammer. Because, well, because <laughs> the car's in the way. So let's just see for grins and giggles. We'll put that nut on there. Spin her down a ways. Get your favorite 19 mil or go borrow it from a buddy. Let's just give it a little toot here. Oh man, I think I broke a rib. I think you just said not today. Not today. They're usually rusted in there pretty dang good. Plus, we're just beating against Swiss cheese, so. All right, anyhow, wanted to try, always wanted to try that. Because when they're in the car, you're like, if I could just tap on it a little. All right, we're done playing around. First rodeo rubber bushing. Show you how Vic does it. So that's it. You just gotta get to the metal sleeve. It's not overly difficult or scientific. Why would it be scientific? <laughs>
And there you are, that's it, show is over. Find an ugly dog again. Grab your night team now that you've relieved its tension. You don't want that to splash you in the face, so close your eyes. Where are you? Oh, guess what now, you jerk. So the sleeve here obviously is, is loosey-goosey. We slid it. So that's loose. Guess what? You're stuck in the frame. No mercy reversy. Winner win. Everybody calm down. There's not threads all the way to the end, okay? Not my first pick. As a matter of fact, I've been to three or four picnics. It's like Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo! What about that? Pick it in the basket? What about the ranger, Yogi? Now we just gotta do the same thing over here. It's kind of convenient being on a stand. You guys wanna watch this one too? If you don't wanna see it, fast forward. Not every day you get to play a fire. <laughs> games at the fair. Sprayed in the clown's mouth. Boom, we just won. One prize. It's getting smoky in here. Get the door open. Turn on the ventilation system. And carry on.
we're going to heat up that lower one on this side where the pipe goes down through. Maybe we'll get it first try. You know what I mean? Don't fall off there, fella. Come on, baby. Oh, the heck with you. Oh, yeah? Oh, she's still a little toy to top. I guess I did notch her all the way. Rookie. Where'd the sock go? Anybody see that? Well then. She is, oh, it's hot, that's hot. Why'd you pick that? This we got, we got look at Spicy. That's turned out by film. So I need to get a new can. Uh, it seems that the hard part is done. So we're gonna give that a little spritz. Those are the four bolts there, right? We'll give her some fluid film under here. I mean, not that the frame's gonna rot out again before the rest of the car does, but we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Give her the full douche down. Let's grab this rack. Bring this baby over. Slide that back in. Get all these bolts. Let's get these all started. In case you missed it on the first part of the video, or maybe I haven't said it here on the second part, this is not my car. I'm not at liberty to replace every single piece I touch. If it's your car, absolutely go and do that. By all means, get it all new, baby. Uh, I have a budget. This is a budget build, as they call it. Um, that I'm trying to stay within. You may have mentioned that. But sometimes people get a little forgetful and they skip past parts of the video and they get real nasty about now. So if you're about to get nasty in the comment section, that's that's why. And if you think I should have told the guy to just piss off because it's my way or the highway, blah, 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 big tough guy. Well, somebody's got to help the fellow out. It's not stripped, folks, so you better settle down. It's had a lot of rust on it. That's why I'm loosening everything up there. I got her on one Ugga Dugga. There we go. All right. Got this baby all set up. Got to torque her to factory specs. Spray some fluid film on them so my sock doesn't keep getting stuck. Of the 44 foot pounds, according to service data, sock still gets stuck, so what's it matter? We'll just keep going around these. 
Ooh, 47. That one was already tight. 48 on that one. We're upgrading it. All right, we tightened up everybody. Everybody's happy. Run it out. Stick our sway bar up on here. We're going the right direction here, hopefully. Eighteen point four on those bad boys. They do have an arrow on them, points forward. In case you forget. Can't spell kick. Done. Usually I just go over to my guy Josh's side and steal his, but he's over there, so I can't. You can only do it when you're not looking. I just want to, oh, you mother lover. I just want to spray down the top of that rack, because once we put that up in there, you can't really get to it well. Wish everybody would take lessons from WD and make a built-in straw. Here on the left. impact's a little aggressive. Yeah, kind of baby. <laughs> Come 
Well, yeah, forget about it. Trying to be all proper. What were these, like 48, I think it said? Or 47.8 or something like that. Snug. Now we can do it proper. Look at that. Wow, oh, yeah. still went over. <laughs> Whatever. up here where our sway bar itself. So let's just say get that picked up first. Alright. Yeehaw, now we're cooking. You want your bolts. Give it the old food from a spritzer. Well, down in the hole. Uh, did I put that right on the lift where we can't get to it? Probably. Let me come around there with you guys. Drop it here. Then we go with the hole. All right, there's that. Good job. Good job, little buddy. Got this one. Wipe a little fluid film on it. These don't have a tendency to get stuck. We'll give it a little spritz just in case. Not like it'll ever be out of there in the rest of its life. There's that. So we'll come in here. Get the nut on. Just gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then essentially we can just and we can just tighten it where it's at. We're gonna be so close on that bushing, it doesn't really matter. Unless you're super weird about that stuff. Oh, you stink pot. A trick. Touchy boy. Uh, let's see, we got 103, 70, and 44. Turn this baby down. Yeah, our area are pretty snugged up there. Uh, let's see. Go with our horizontal mounted bushing here. Like I said, this is sitting pretty much at ride height, anyways, or at least so close it doesn't matter. All right, we'll throw a torque wrench on that. Go through a hundred, but we'll uh, we'll go a hundred and then a little extra. 
I think it reads past 100. So I think we'll be okay. One oh one point two. The buzz. What's up? My saddle came in. Oh, let me look at it. You got your new saddle? Yeah, it's a, it's a box. Oh, let's open it up. <laughs> I wish. So you want me to open it? No. <coughs> That's too bad. No. Guess you have to ride bareback. Up up here. Use the old old riding out saddle you got. Mm-hmm. You want to let her open a new saddle? It's for Christmas. Oh, but she knows what it is. Yeah, but she really wants to see it. Well, what if it's it. the wrong one? What if it's the wrong one? Yeah, what check if it out when she's not around. What if wow. it doesn't fit my boat or my horse? Wow. Yeah, you're going to have to do something else about wow. that. Horse people, anyways. <sighs> All right, enough horse around. There ain't nothing but a bunch of hay burnish factories, anyways. That's what I think about horses. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anyways, it's better than doing crack, I suppose. Uh, we're gonna spray the rest of it. Uh, I think the rest of it we can get to when we're up in. It was just mostly down in here. What do we need to do now? We're ready to put this thing in. We gotta get the ball joints out of the old knuckles. Gosh, I can't talk. My tongue is swelling up like crazy. Uh, let's see, that's all ready. Tie rods are ready. Hey! Let's spritz the back side of the rack here. I'm gonna try to slow down the rod as much as we can. Should've been done years ago. We wouldn't be in this situation, would you fella? Can't overdo it. I'd like to change the oil pan now because it's out in the open, but I think we'll get this up in there and get it safe. Get it safe. Let's go pull our ball joints out. I know where the heck lunch is, man. It's past noon. Hey, we got a question. It's the 1220 almost. Seven. Do you know where our lunch is? In the oven. Ooh, what are you making? Two We got, boys. Can we skillet? Get some kind of homemade stuff. That looks like you didn't use a recipe to me. It's kind of a recipe. Oh, okay. Dang it! It's a box inside of a box. Get ready. Be careful, Listen, you won't even get that you, saddle. If you see it, like Simon, you feel right now, you want to see and touch it, you won't have that at Christmas morning because you won't have anything <laughs> except for what no, you already know. Stuff in the stocking. Okay, lunch is over. Your Christmas is over. A homemade recipe. Because <laughs> I can always tell when it's leftover day. <laughs> Everything gets uh, put in the oven and gets a little cheese on it, you know? Ah! We're gonna take the axle nut off. Set that to the side. Because we need excessive amounts of heat to get these bolts out. I'm sorry about my speech, folks. I explained it on What's Up Wednesday why my speech is messed up. I'm gonna set the axle to the side. Don't even try that sucker without heat and snot out of it. Those bolts are extremely soft that the ball joint in and you have to have it right just this side of liquid to get it out trust me got lots of Subaru ball joints last thing you want to do is snap it off
when you're whacking on it with the other dug, watch that bolt on the other side, make sure it's actually moving. Can't see. And it is, but like I said, these things are soft as butter. Out she comes, just like that. So they don't really season the threads. They seize right here on the straight part of the bolt. Up on the shank, I call it. They get locked right on this side and on the threads, both places, but mostly here. So you can spray all the spray you want to spray on it. And it's not gonna come out. Just, I don't care if you use your ATF training fluid stuff or your croil or your blaster. Whatever, whatever flavor it is that is good. You can spray acetylene on it, and that works every time. So we're gonna take and yank the ball joint out of there now. There we are, ball joints out, done deal. All right, let's clean her out. Let's get, get all the rust and junk out of there. Then we'll go up in there with a little flap wheel and do it the rest of the way. All right, that should be, and then you know, clean up your bolt, obviously. All right, before we put it in, we'll spray up in our ball joint holes. Make sure to lube these rear studs where it was hanging up. I think that's about it. A couple of we'll spray up inside the body holes here where the other bolts go. Be on the safe side, like I said, I doubt this thing's ever coming back out. we we'll get our steering shaft there. Whoa! Ho oh, ho hey dude! Where's that one at right there? Alright, I guess we're good to go. I want to toot our uh, subframe here a little bit too. I think that's it, folks. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Well, let's get the fry. I missed a little bit, a few spots on this thing. Of course, as the fluid film heats up, it kind of, you know, really starts to creep in. So if you don't get everything, like 110, percent don't worry about it. Come back in the day, it'll be all over everything. And that's what I call part two, the switch over. We're gonna call it Project Subaru. So part one, we removed the subframe. Part two, which is this part you're watching, we did the switch over and we're ready to put it back in. And if you wanna watch that process, you're gonna have to come back for part three for what I call the put it in part or the installation, I guess would be more proper. So come back for that, stick around, make sure you subscribe. You gotta ring that bell to get the notifications and uh, We'll see you on the next one, folks.